I am pleased to inform you that statistics from already covered several ministries, um, including also the state law office, because it's also a ministry, the AG's office, um, is, uh, they prove actually that the government has done a lot in the last 16 months uh, since uh, we came to power, uh, from sums amounting to 15 million. One would think 15 million is little money, but you can imagine the thousands of hustlers who really had maybe a dispute here of 10,000 shillings or 50,000 of rent. Uh, all of those, uh, they are all solved here. And then in addition, now this is huge, 4,055 cases of widows, widowers, and people who have been bereaved have been resolved amicably without going to court. And as a result, 3.1 billion shillings has been released to them. Uh, this is in terms of succession management, uh, so that they are able to get to their socioeconomic rights in terms of food, shelter, uh, and also this includes even persons with disabilities who are most of the time vulnerable, uh, and they are not able to actually uh, you know, go to court uh, properly. We all know that affording lawyers in Kenya is not easy. In fact, a majority of the hustlers cannot pay or even understand the often complex legal process in order for them to access justice. It is very refreshing to note that 122,221 hustlers who couldn't pay for any legal fees were assisted to get free legal aid in matters to do with child rights, uh, criminal and civil cases. When it comes to tourism, tourism is actually the fourth foreign exchange earner in our country. In fact, we pride ourselves as a very hospitable country with our slogan, Hakuna Matata, being a global catchphrase for international travel. Uh, and this industry, uh, for the last one year or 16 months, if you like, uh, we've been able to rake in, as a country, an excess of 650 million shillings from this sector due to the fact that spending in hotels has also increased by about 3%, um, but also arrivals as well as I will be saying further. However, uh, the endangered elephants have increased by 692, which is very good. Uh, that is uh, endangered elephants. While black rhinos have also grown by 80. Our country is now visa-free, meaning that we shall have more visitors coming into our country going forward. Uh, and for example, international arrivals have grown by 18.42% in the last 16 months, meaning that our country received an extra 273,412 more visitors. Uh, another good thing in the tourism sector is the fact that we have been able to train an extra 1,044 youth under the Kenya Kwanzaa administration in the tourism sector. So you can see more, uh, more young people are actually getting on board. The previous figure was about 400 uh, or thereabout. And so this graduates will help support uh, the, this growing sector of the economy so that it can realize its full potential. And it is very uh, true to say that for the last one year, uh, we have actually hit the 10,000 mark in terms of local and uh, uh, international conferences. We were getting about 8,000 conferences in a year. Now there are 10,000, an increase of 2,151 uh, on board. And of course, as a result, therefore, uh, the uh, earnings from tourism uh, have actually increased a lot, uh, you know. Uh, so, and it's actually, the, the, the increase of earnings uh, have increased by about 80%. And when you come to visitors park, uh, each park, uh, last year we had 2.18 million, uh, um, no, in 2022, sorry, I beg your pardon, we had 2.18 million, uh, 2 million uh, Kenyans, you can rough it to 2.2 million, but now it has increased to 2.94 million. So almost 3 million people are actually, uh, you know, visiting our, our parks, recording a 35% increase. KITC has been refurbished, as I had said earlier, um, so that then... Um, so far, the, the, the refurbishments are ongoing. Uh, uh, they are at 22%, so by the time they are done, this will be a truly international conference center, um, you know, going forward. And also, uh, there is sustainable investment uh, in terms of um, parks uh, across the country uh, to the extent that all of the payments in, in our national parks 
are now being uh, are on e-citizen. So you don't need to use cash to do so. Uh, so that is very, very important because it has seen a serious increase in monies that are being collected, uh, what we call in government appropriation in aid. A lot of money now, uh, like even David Shedrick, uh, you know, the Kenya Wildlife Service, because of this onboarding so that there is no human agency. And that is very important, ladies and gentlemen, because it is helping the country to be reliable uh, on its own, uh, it should be reliant on its own um, revenue. We are targeting to raise about 1.5 trillion from A and A, or, you know, uh, over and above the various other taxes. Uh, so two to two uh, is an is a, is a e-citizen line. Um, the other good thing is that uh, in the Ministry of Tourism, uh, we have had a, a situation of increase of grants, uh, you know, to various, uh, you know, community initiatives, conservancies, and such other businesses uh, by over two billion in 2023 uh, compared to 1.3 billion in 2022. So you can see there is an increase of uh, about 900 billion that is being given to, uh, 900 million, I beg your pardon, that is being given to uh, uh, tourist, uh, tourist businesses. Like if you own a conservancy, if you own a hotel, if you want, uh, you know, so those kind of things that help, you know, Kenya to be more uh, um, hospitable. So the government in the last one year has been able to uh, put in place five value addition sites uh, or centers in uh, Voi, uh, Vihiga, El Geo, Maraquet, and even here in Nairobi for you know, products such as uh, gold, gemstone, and other minerals. Uh, and this way then we'll be able to ensure that miners, miners will get more value for their labor, translating to higher incomes for them and also for foreign exchange earning to the country. We already have identified as a government uh, one investor to put up a, a flow spa uh, in a company uh, in Kerio Valley. And also there are serious negotiations going on to put up a granite a company in Vihiga County. 621 common uh, interest groups, that's what they are called, have been given grants by the government, grants, this is not loans, uh, grants to the point of 1.5 billion. And uh, this includes what you call beach, beach management units uh, that are all over the country, 